Hey y'all, SEMA 2017 and I got a 67 Dart convertible I think you're all gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. What about that? You don't see a lot of uh, 67 Dodge Darts to begin with, but then a Dodge Dart convertible. I'm not even sure I knew they made them. I guess I did. You know me, I don't know anything but cool, and that thing is cool. Now I did do some research, try to do some research, and I, I wanna, from what I can put together, the car is, is uh, gone through a transformation since its uh, inception, since it was built. It started out as a father and son build. Went to a car show, fell in love with it, had to have it, and uh, you know, they went crazy on it. And it looked a lot like it does now. What I did notice was that uh, it looked like um, when it was first built, it had a, a 400 that was punched out to like a 512. Um, so it had been an old school Hemi. And now it looks like there is a new modern Hemi up under the hood. We'll get to that. But anyways, that looks like that's changed. And it used to say 512 on the back where it has that demon emblem now. So I don't know if it's running the, the uh, you know, the the demon um drivetrain i know it was in the magnuson supercharger um booth at sema but as far as the interior i love them red gauges right how cool is that as far as the interior and all um it's it was like it was like this when they did it it's just a powertrain and a, a little bit of the striping is what i noticed has changed the the most the biggest changes in it but it being a cool car has not changed you know and and there's a lot of the Mopars and a lot of the, the Chrysler products out there I like, but I'll just be honest with you guys, I can't get no views on them. You know, no matter how cool they are, no matter how, especially if they're over the top, because Mopar fans hate anything that didn't come from Mopar. But um, it doesn't matter. I've got rare cars. I've shot, you know, historical cars. Doesn't matter. Well, it's nice up under here, right? Ford 9-inch. They back half the car. Put a frame in back there. So it's been... You know, it, it drives, they say it drives uh, like a modern day car. I believe that to be true. And the paint is gorgeous. And of course, black with red popping off on it. You gotta love that. And I love red line tires. This one doesn't have red line tires, but it's got red line rims. Down with that. It's got a red line to the interior, you know. So no, I thought it was cool, you know. And uh, I like that they took the back seat out. You know, I mean, who needs that? Put some speakers back there. Give yourself some more storage. Tremec 5 speed, but I don't know what power plant's behind it. We'll get up under the hood in a minute, but I'll just tell you before we get there. I don't know. I don't know what motor is under it now. Like I said, it looks like a modern Hemi. Interior was Brock Meyer design. How cool is that? Eric did that one. See, there you go. So I don't believe that to be a 400. And the old one, I saw pictures of it. It was really nicely done too, but it had a distributor cap up there on the front. And this one, it does not. So, like I said, that's a modern Hemi with a supercharger on it, which is cool. I like how they inlaid the red up underneath the uh, dimple die there, too, right? Hardwired a lot of that under there. And it gets driven. You know, that's the other cool thing. It's not a trailer queen. A car, uh, the, the owner and his son, if they still own it, like I said, I don't know. I don't know what the case is with that. But I do know it's a cool car. So there you go from the SEMA show 2017, a 1967 Dart convertible hot rod. Pretty cool, I liked it. Hope you did too. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.